Meteorologist Danny Trainer, who's tracking Hurricane Matthew, and we just got a new update yep. on that storm, Danny. Mm -hmm, sure did. What happened, uh, I don't know, between our 7 o'clock show and our 11 o'clock show is this thing stalled. Stalling is not good because it, it allows it to sit over that warm water and use it to possibly intensify. Now it started to move again show you what's going on. Here's that eye, as you can see, again, that turn is expected to start now and affect Jamaica. Jamaica's under a hurricane watch, so is the uh, western part of Haiti, and possibly the storm's gonna go right across the eastern tip of Cuba. That's the way things are shaping up right at the moment. As you can still see, it's about 350 miles south of Kingston, Jamaica. It's a category four, 150 miles an hour strong. That makes it a catastrophic potential hurricane, a monster out there churning away in the ocean. Now, here's where we think it's going to go. This is where it is now. This is where it'll be by Monday, just approaching Cuba. Then it passes by Cuba on Tuesday, eight o'clock. Got 115 mile an hour winds. It's a category three. It has lost a little bit by going over the mountains of Eastern Cuba. It's lost a little bit of strength, but now it's getting over the warm waters of the Bahamas. It grows again. Okay, this is where we expect it to be on Wednesday and Thursday. Now, you see this cone that surrounds it? This one to there? Okay, that's the variable. It could either be closer to Florida, it could be farther away from Florida. Because it's five days away, there's a lot of possibilities here that, you know, we have to take into consideration. Here again is a close up look, Wednesday, 8 o'clock eastern side of the Bahamas, very far away from us. If it's 100 miles away from us, we'll feel some effects. If it's 200 miles away from us, we might not. And of course, who would feel the most effects? The people right here along the coast. We would get some uh, extra tides, some, some uh, big winds out of it, and possibly some rainfall. So that's, that's what's going on there. And speaking of rainfall, we got plenty today. Some area got four inches of rain. Still got a little bit of residual rain right there off the beach at Daytona. But right now, things are quieting down. Everything's kind of pushed on down to the south, a little bit of rain up there around the villages and around Leesburg, and this house pushing on down into uh, the Lakeland area. We're pretty much done with it. Now we're just waiting to reload and get ready for tomorrow. 89 was the official high in Orlando for today. And overnight, it should be quiet. More rain tomorrow, maybe even more than we had today, 50% chance. And Matthew, Cat 4. This thing right here, this little station in front, hopefully it stays right there and acts as a wall and a barrier to Matthew and keeps it away from us. But tomorrow, if you want to go out in the boat, I think it's okay. Not bad with the rib currents too, but check with the lifeguards first. Here's what's going on tonight, 73 degrees. Here's what's going on tomorrow. Your forecast brought to you by Del Air Heating and Air Conditioning. Well, we'll uh, start out muggy. You knew that. And then we get up to around 88 by 4 o'clock, 50% chance of rain. And by the way, I want to show you this on our long range forecast here. I'm going to throw in the variable that Matthew might be close enough to cause us some trouble. And I'm going to pick out Wednesday and Thursday as the days when we feel its biggest effects. 